Neighbors want answers following what they call a slow response from firefighters following a deadly fire that engulfed at least three homes in Canutillo. CBS 4 attends Julia Spencer joins us from one of the homes that suffered a tragic loss. Now take a look around me. This is all some families have left here. A pile of ash and burnt memories. Now one man tells me what it was like when he found out his house caught fire and how he lost more than his brother that day. I started hearing explosions. When I came out, my brother's house was on fire. I don't know, everything just was so fast. I know my brother couldn't be saved because the fire was too hot over there. I don't know what to say, it's just, it's just too much. A fire in Canotillo destroying at least three homes over the weekend. Eduardo Hildago, a Canotillo resident, telling us what happened when it started. There's no words. It's devastating. It's disaster. All our memories, all my pictures. With my wife, I just lost my wife in December. Everything's gone. Now this fire caused extensive damage to this home here. Now we're just going to take a quick look inside of it. This room, which was once a living room to this home, is completely destroyed. But my house is completely gone. This is all I got left on me. Neighbors are now asking why firefighters took so long to get there. My mom called 911. I don't know how many times she was put on hold. A lot of people down the neighborhood, they were put on hold. According to officials, the first call for the fire came in at 5.31 p.m. The West Valley Volunteer Fire Department arrived nine minutes later at 5.40 p.m. But it wasn't until half an hour later they requested backup from El Paso Fire Department. Fire Chief Bill Alder of West Valley Fire responding to questions about the response by saying, I'm understanding people are complaining to get answers, and our response was well documented. It takes seven minutes, and to somebody experiencing and waiting like that feels like hours. But neighbors think something else needs to be done. I understand West Valley takes care of this area, and they're volunteers, and I give them props to what doing that. It takes a lot of guts to do that. But what is plan B? If there is no volunteers left, who do we call? There now I'm still waiting to hear back from the fire chief of West Valley Fire Department about why it took them half an hour to request backup. I also did reach out to the county fire marshals about where they're at with this investigation and what started this fire. I'm reporting in Canutillo, Julia Spencer, CBS 4 at 10.